Greetings, I'm Sylvester Peck Sr. and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Today we will be doing a demonstration on continuous contour line drawing. Uh, we will work with a still lap that, set that is composed of two lamps, um, with one with the shade off and one with the shade on. Um, and with that we'll try to complete this continuous line drawing uh, within three minutes. All right, one of the most important aspects of drawing or well, using continuous line drawing is to um, is to make sure that you keep the uh, whatever drawing tool you're using, pencil or pen, keep that uh, tool in contact with the paper. Okay, uh, we're going to start off and focus it on making sure, well, first of all, that uh, we utilize the majority of the image area of the drawing surface, and then we'll move. Um, Stop. Stop. Oh. Uh, today we're going to use continuous line drawing, continuous contour line drawing, um, a, a drawing of still life that, that is composed of two lamps, one of them with the shade off, one of them with the shade on. Uh, we will use the uh, landscape orientation of the paper, and we're going to focus on utilizing the maximum image area of the paper. With con continuous contour line drawing, one thing you want to do is to make sure that whatever drawing tool you are using, uh, stays in contact with the paper with the paper uh, throughout the duration of the drawing, and um, I also incorporate a quick sketch practice with using continuous contour. And rather than talk a whole lot, let's let's begin. One thing about continuous contour drawing that I love is that it allows you to just move freely uh, across the paper and not really having to worry about uh, being perfect with your drawing but you're just uh, making sure that you get the image on the paper and stay with the contours of the object and you can always come back and refine the shapes later on. Once I get to a certain point, what I try to do is start to refining my shapes and going back in and adding value by using certain line techniques such as uh, back and forth over the line, over the same area. And for the detail, uh, especially in the lampshade area, is to just make lines up and down. I'm not really worrying about a whole lot of uh, refined detail, but just to give the, the drawing uh, a look of completeness. And I'm only going to work about three minutes of um, time on this drawing, and then I'll focus on uh, the I'll focus on some other areas or maybe come back later on and add more detail. Um, with the flower petals or leaves on the vase, it's a very simple thing to do in that because it's just a change in values, values and shape more so than anything else. Uh, I'm just adding an interpretive shape of the detail that's on the, um, on the vase portion of the lamp. And we well, should be about three minutes in terms of duration so far on this drawing. And we will, I will cut it off in about three minutes just to um, stop for the purpose of um, showing the kind of content and what continuous line drawing does for the quality of the overall work. And my 
trusted camera operator will just give me an update on time. Five minutes. All right, and we're going, we're at five minutes, two minutes longer than I had intended, but we will go ahead and conclude the drawing here. And hopefully this demonstration for you allows you to be able to freely use continuous contour line without having to worry about a whole lot of detail. Uh, most of all, I'm putting my, my signature in the lower right hand corner of the paper and I'm dating it. And today is 9-13-2022. Thank you very much. This is Sylvester Peck. Uh, join me on my YouTube channel and, and as we continue this discovery of uh, working with Continuous Contour Line.